So Dustin Ellerman with Texas Fishing Game Magazine here. We're here with champion shooter Rob Latham at the Springfield Armory booth. And they've got the new range officer in 9mm. So give us a rundown on this guy. Well, we came out with the RO a couple of years ago in 45. Mm -hmm. And what it fundamentally was, was a, well, it's either a base gun with a couple things put to it or a fancy gun with all the, with all the frills taken off. Gotcha. I like to think of it as our entry level competition gun. Mm -hmm. There's some things you need. If you shoot competition, you should have enough to know. One thing that's very nice to have is adjustable sights sure. for this kind of gun. You wouldn't necessarily want adjustable sights for your carry gun, but to be able to zero it perfectly for mm -hmm. whatever load you're shooting and how you're going to shoot, it, you know, being on a full silhouette at 10 yards isn't good enough. Yeah. You know, you need to think to shoot right where you want. So mm -hmm. we put a set of adjustable sights on it. And we tried to get rid of anything that would add cost to it. Sure. That was really there as a, 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 a profit line mark mm -hmm. kind of thing okay. and try to see if we can get the price down reasonable for somebody new into the sport. Mm -hmm. So the first version came out was a 45 and the market has changed dramatically. Mm -hmm. The perception when I started shooting, which was before you were born, but when I started shooting, we wouldn't have considered a, a 1911 and nine millimeter. All we would have sure. ever wanted was a 45 because mm -hmm. you got a 1911, it's a 45. Well, with different organizations changing the rules and things now, mm -hmm. a lot of the divisions, the right gun to shoot is 9mm. So 1911s have mm -hmm. since become very, very popular. Aside from the fact that they kick less, most people shoot them more accurately, mm -hmm. and the ammunition is cheap, it actually fits right into some division. Yeah. So with the RO, we've taken away the frills. Mm -hmm. You still have a, an adjustable over-travel trigger. Okay. You've got a match grade slide frame and barrel. You have a extended slide or extended uh, magazine uh, sorry extended thumb safety you have the match hammer and trigger yep. you have the beaver tails mm -hmm. and that's it mm -hmm. and the reason so that's we that's all you need that, right the reason we left it at that point is because anything else we did was simply going to drive up the price sure and we already have that we've yeah. already got guns that cost more that have more features in them mm -hmm. so how do we get you a gun that has the things you needed without the stuff you don't to get the price down so you'll get into the sport sounds good bingo that's what it is and the nine awesome. millimeter is simply the evolution of the 1911. And anybody that's shot any of these guns know that if, if you're not shooting something that requires the 45 because of a caliber limitation or power factoring, the get less the gun kicks, the faster you can shoot it. Right. It's just physics. Mm -hmm. And 1911s in nine millimeter are almost like cheater guns. Yeah, it's so, is. <laughs> so easy to shoot. They so that's are. basically what we've got here. That's great. Good deal. Uh, tell me about magazines. Is that something Springfield's making or is that just standard? Well, this is a magazine I designed quite a few years ago. When we started getting interested in shooting 9 millimeters mm -hmm. uh, in the 1911s, you know, the gun was never designed to shoot a round this short. Mm -hmm. It was designed to be a 45, which is dramatically longer than, than okay. the 9 millimeter round mm -hmm. is. So we had a lot of problems with feeding problems uh, coming understand. out of the magazines because the 9 millimeter is a tapered case and the 45 ACP case is straight. So when they stack in the magazine, they would have a tendency to have the, the front be flopping because the front is smaller than the rear is. Okay. So we'd have a lot of problem with the magazines, with the rounds nose diving in the magazine. Okay. Well, it wasn't necessarily my idea, but I'm the one that, that got the thing made. We designed the magazine so that if the nose, if it does nose dive, mm -hmm. it hits the front of the, the, the feed ramp that's actually in the magazine mm -hmm. and pushes the front of the bullet up. I see. So it really can't nose dive in traditional manner. We had this magazine out. It's funny that we had a magazine for a gun that we never built a gun for. <laughs> but when I started shooting the nines, I needed a solution for the reliability issues. How about that? So yeah. that magazine alone, regardless of what brand of 1911 you shoot, that magazine alone will pretty much ensure that the gun feeds. Neat. So it okay. makes it, it, it takes it from being a pretty unreliable platform mm -hmm. to probably one of the best. Awesome. I like it. Well, good. Well, we'll see. Why don't you put a mag down range and then I want to put an it. Okay. All right. Well, no, I'm not wearing my shooting glasses. I'm trying to think of all the excuses I can make. <laughs> so when you beat me, I have it written in there, but I've already missed. Go for it. <laughs> well, the, the, the body of the mag, the body flips like that, but there's a little head. Oh, look at that. So if you hit it right there, you're going to move it. That's fun. Okay. So let's see if you got that one. Yeah, I don't Unfortunately, know. Unfortunately, we got shot. black sights and black targets, so it's not the <laughs> best setup. Yeah. All right. So Perfect. Is Perfect. That, go for that head. Perfect. Oh yeah. Uh, and and no. that's why we like 1911s in nine millimeter. That's a sweet 
choker and just the recoil of the belt, it, it, it doesn't kick. It the, runs great. Mm -hmm. And the, the timing and the recoil of the gun, you know, the timing where the, the, the slide isn't as quick as it is on a 45, mm -hmm. that timing is very easy to control for most people mm -hmm. rapid fire. That's awesome. All right, well, thanks for your time. All right, man, thank you.